Hey, Christy here. As I woke up today and got on the scale and uh, realized it's been the same numbers for a week to the ounce, which is really bizarre because normally your weight fluctuates ounces from what you eat the night before, how much salt you took in the night before, the day before. If you exercise, if you didn't exercise, all has to do with what you weigh. That's why they tell you that you should weigh they. That it's important to only weigh once a week. Uh, so it's been a week in the challenge. It's been a week. And and for those of you who are starting out, you need to rewatch this a week from now. I just wanted to really emphasize not to focus on the numbers. Don't focus on what the scale says. We can really get hung up on the scale and be completely discouraged by what the scale has to say. And I can tell you from experience that the scale is a liar in so many ways. I mean, it really can help us when we know we've got 30 pounds of fat to lose. But um, as we progress through the weeks, it's not, you know, it's not our best friend for sure. So what, what I want you to focus on is how you feel. You uh, have been eating clean for a week. You have been feeding your body food to make it an efficient machine. Just like your car, you put in the best gas you can because you want it to run efficiently. When you put the best food in your body, your body will work the way it was intended to work which is a very efficient machine. So you should be feeling better. You, your energy levels should be different than what they were a week ago. You should be sleeping better, pooping better, all around having a better mood uh, because of the food you're feeding you, that you're feeding, that you're feeding you. Very good, that works. And something else I wanted to uh, point out about weight loss is that health is a precursor to weight loss. And what I mean about that is that when we do focus on making ourselves an efficient machine, then the weight loss just comes because we become healthy from the inside out. So our outsides reflect. I'm being interrupted. Close the door. <sighs> See, now I lost my train. Like video bombs by my husband. Anyway, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, okay. So our uh, when our insides become really healthy and clean, and our outsides will reflect that. Have you ever heard the saying that you look like what you eat? So if you look like a donut, if you eat donuts, it's what you look like. Um, if we feed ourselves clean, unprocessed foods, then we will look like asparagus or I don't know whatever your favorite you know not a pear <laughs> okay and my other video I had so much more to say but that was very inspired and um, oh I don't know what I was gonna say so for some of us like for me I've been sick for two days uh, I had a shake yesterday and that's what I had all day and today I've had a shake and a bowl of like homemade, my husband's like homemade granola cereal. And that's pretty much all my stomach is going to handle today. My point is tomorrow will be day six for me and not day eight. So if you find yourself struggling through the weekend or feel like you haven't um, given 100% for that particular day, then redo that day. Redo the day. So I'm going to redo the entire weekend. Monday, instead of day eight, will be day six for me. And I'm going to just get right back on it. Hopefully I'll be feeling a lot better. And my stomach will cooperate for me. I know one of you is in Paris. How awesome is that? And if you feel that you need to redo your weekend, then by all means do it. And I don't want you to think this is just a 21-day process. And I encourage you to consider doing a second round with me. And don't have to think about it too much right now because you're in the beginning. But some of us need, uh, need to uh, maybe a few rounds to really reach our, our fitness goals. I mean, if you've got 15, 30 pounds you'd like to see off, you're, you need to really consider round two, 21 day 
round three even, I'm going to continue to offer these challenge groups every month. And I would love to have y'all back in here with me, uh, just being the awesomeness that you are. So, starting week two tomorrow, I'm going to start week two tomorrow, well, day six. And a lot of you are you're kind of in different levels. Some of you, this is beginning for you. Don't focus on the numbers. Focus on how you feel. Focus on how awesome you are for doing this for yourself. And everybody around you will benefit from you making clean choices. I can promise you that. And health is a precursor to weight loss. Don't listen to the scale. It's broken. It's totally broken. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'm excited to see some of you this week in the gym. Rocking it out. Dancing some dancey dance. And I will chat with you later. <laughs>